was the Book of Enoch in the 1611 King James Bible. Let's take a look. First, let's look at what's found in the 1611 KJV Table of Contents. Looking at the Table of Contents, we see the first five books called Torah. Then we have the major and minor prophets followed by the writings. So that's what we have today in our Tanakh, otherwise known as the Old Testament. Then in the 1611 KJV, we see in the Table of Contents a section called the Books Called Apocrypha. And we go down the list to see what we have. It has 1st and 2nd Esdras, the Book of Tobit and the Book of Judith, the Book of Esther and the Book of Wisdom, Baruch, the Epistle of Jeremiah, the Song of Three Children, the Story of Susanna, Bell and the Dragon, the Prayer of Manasseh, and finally, 1st and 2nd Maccabees. So as you see, the answer is no. There was no Book of Enoch in the 1611 KJV Bible. Nor was there ever a Book of Enoch in our Bibles. But you might then hear from the pro-Enoch side that the Book of Enoch is in the canon of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. But unless you're an Ethiopian Orthodox Christian, then I don't think their standards apply to you or me. Besides, their Bible canon, which includes the Book of Enoch, was constructed in the 15th century. Not only that, but the pro-Enoch side says we cannot trust the ancient Jewish scholars on accepting or rejecting the Book of Enoch. And we cannot trust any Christian scholar who concluded to reject Enoch as scripture. Yet, we see this one assembly late in the 15th century suddenly added to their Bibles, and now it's those men that we trust as our standard to what is scripture. Why? What makes every biblical scholar and Jewish scholar for over 2,000 years unqualified and untrustworthy when they conclude that the book of Enoch is not scripture, and yet the Ethiopian Orthodox Church suddenly accepts Enoch in the 15th century, and it's their standards to what we should see as truth. To me, that's a bit inconsistent and shows strong bias. It also shows that the pro-Enoch side has little to work with and is grasping for straws to try and defend Enoch as scripture. So to conclude, Enoch was never in the 1611 KJV, and also the ancient Jewish scholars never had Enoch in their canon, which we all call the Tanakh. Also, almost every Christian scholar throughout history did not recognize the book of Enoch as scripture. I pray everyone seeks the Father for wisdom on this book. I would love to see the body of Messiah Yeshua more united in truth. Thank you and shalom.